Hi, I'm Mike Lambman from the Carlton Dry Thaw Honda Race Team and today's tech tip will be on chain maintenance and sprocket maintenance. There's a few things that can excessively wear your chain and sprockets. If your chain is too loose or too tight, that's going to put excessive load on certain parts of the sprocket. Also, having the correct lubrication, using a good quality chain lube is vital to ha have that done. You only have to glance at the chain or the sprocket to see whether it needs lubricating. It's a fairly simple thing to work out. You're better off over lubing than under lubing. Also too, when you replace one or both chain and sprockets, you're better off to do it as a package. You'll get far more life out of that than you will out of just replacing, putting a chain on or a front sprocket. The first sign of sprocket wear, you'll probably notice it more on the front sprocket because that's the smallest one and that's doing the most work. You'll find that the gap between the points of the teeth will start to get a little bit bigger and a little bit hooked. They'll start to sort of cup out and once that starts to happen, then your sprocket will wear quicker and it looks like a little bit of a, uh, like a wave. They're, they're all leaning one way. The same thing applies on the back. If that's the case, then also too, the chain will be worn. The first telltale sign with the chain is the actual rollers. The rollers will start to wear and you'll get movement up and down. You can actually feel this with your fingers or, and physically see it. If you push up and down on the roller, it can still be, the, the chain still can be on the bike while you're doing this. You don't have to take it off and you'll see that that roller is worn. Once again, when that roll is worn, it doesn't sit square into the sprocket and consequently creates wear. There's different qualities of chains and sprockets. Here at Carlton Dry Honda, we actually use an RK chain and JT sprockets on our race bikes and we find them a great product to use and the service life on them is great. It's pretty well what you pay for is what you get. If you want to spend $60 on a chain, you'll get a $60 chain. If you want to spend $160 on the chain, you'll get a, a far better quality chain. If you want a long-term wear out of your chain and sprockets, by all means, use a top quality chain and sprockets.